How to create spiral text in Photoshop, PC or Mac. A number of ways of doing it, and I'm gonna use the Curve to Pen tool first. So just go over here to Curve to Pen tool, select that. Should find it beneath the pen tool. If it's not there, it might be in this extra section down here. Then go to up here and select Path option. Then go to the gear and set it to maybe three pixels for the path. Now, simply go to the document, click the document, you might like to use guides, grids, etc. Makes it easier, but you can also do it by size as well. So simply click on the document and then drag and then click again and then click and just go around and just do it by sight. Now you can always undo, it's perfectly reasonable to undo, and you can also edit it as well. So if you decide, you know what, one of the points is slightly wrong, just simply go to that point and edit the point. And you can do that with the curvature pen tool as well as other tools such as direct selection tool. And you can simply do that and go around and you can create spiral. Now it's not a perfect spiral, I suspect. However, press escape if you don't want that sort of rubber band effect going off like that. Now I've got them a spiral design. I say could do with a bit of modification. Go over here, direct selection tool, select the point and then tweak it if you want. Maybe again, use the curve to pen tool and move it slightly. Just hover there and you can see, just move it. If you just want to position it slightly different. Very, again, always tries to close the path. So now you've got that design. What you can now do is go to the type tool. So go there, horizontal type tool, and you can hover over this and you can see what happens as you go around and it's the insertion point. So you can position it anywhere. Put it there, click, and you've got your text. Always undo, oh. do that, click there, and again, always, if you want to, just cancel it. Don't have to position it there, click there, might want it there, just cancel it again, or there, and so on and so on. You can go around anywhere and click and create your text. However, once you've done that, you might want to change it. You might think, you know what, I don't like the position of that. So what you can do, simply go over here to the path selection. There's the path selection tool, and you can hover there. Now you see that little arrow, and you can actually move it backwards and forwards. So as you go over there, put it on the other side. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and you can move it around. I wouldn't have to say, I would have to say it's not the most instinctive tool to use. It does have a tendency to jerk backwards and forwards, but you can see as it do it, it moves it backwards and forwards, above, below, etc. And you can reposition it. You can see that line, that just that little cross that's just there. You can move it there and so on. After a little while, you get it right and it will actually position, but it does have a tendency to go backwards and forwards until you, you finally get the right position. Now, once you've got your text there, well, you can edit it, of course. You can also go over here, just go to horizontal type tool, maybe select some of that type and just change it. Now, this is a work path. Now, the work path and the actual type are separate. So that's the one thing that doesn't make any difference to the work path now. You can move the work path, you can change it, reposition it, all perfectly reasonable. Character panel, quite useful. So go to window and character, and you can just change it. Maybe go for a different font, maybe go for Myriad Pro, maybe change the size, maybe change the color, go for red, and so on and so on. So you can go and select different parts there, maybe make that green, maybe change the font to another font. Aerial, Aerial Black, and so on and so on. So you can create all kinds of different designs. However, as pointed out, this work path is separate. So you can click there and you can get rid of it. You can delete it. Doesn't delete the actual text. So the text can still be edited, still be modified. Change it up here as well if you want. Sign Painter, and so on and so on. Now also what you can do, once you're happy with your design, you can actually move it around, you can edit it, you can go to edit and transform path, you can warp it. So you can warp the path, create all kinds of different spiral designs that way as well. So it doesn't have to be a perfect spiral. Also what you can do, you can expand it. So you can go to type and go maybe to convert to shape. So you can turn it all into one big shape. Now of course you lose the color there, but now you've got your text, you can modify it in other ways, maybe apply effects. So filter, Gaussian blur, and so on and so on. Create different spiral designs like that. 
Now, key panel, pass. That's a key thing. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the pen tool. Not particularly instinctive as a tool to use, but the pen tool, we can do, again, option path up here, and click, and you can make square spot. And again, this is quite useful if you've got guides or a grid, you can use that. And you can just go there and create. Now, obviously, that's not particularly the most gamely sort of spiral design, but you can go around there and again, press escape to stop. But you can again go over here to the type and you can simply go hover over there and add your type again. And again, vary if you want to in numerous ways. But also what you can do is with that, you can go to the direct selection tool. You can select all these points and you can see the points there. You can also go around with the curvature pen tool, select that, and you can maybe go there, double click on it, double click on that one, double click on that one, double click on that one, and you can see what happens. You end up with a spiral design very quickly from your square spiral. So it's a quick way of creating different designs. And again, just ignore that additional bit that keeps trying to join the grid. I've ended up with a, a however, you can see the general approach to actually creating the spiral. And again, what you can do, you can always go over here, again, hover over there, and you can enter your thing. And again, you've got your type there, which is separate from your work path. So you can just remove that if you want, simply delete it. Work path, gone. And of course, once you've done that, you can then manipulate that design, rotate it, distort it, modify it in numerous ways to create all kinds of different spiral text. And you can also, once you do that, you can also maybe go to layer, layer style, and go for drop shadow, and apply a drop shadow effect like that to create nice spiral text with that. Now, another option you could do, and unfortunately, because there's no spiral tool in Photoshop, it would be brilliant if there was lots of other tools, it would be nice as well. But if you've got a creative cloud, you can go to Adobe Illustrator 221 and simply go over here to the spiral tool. There's the spiral tool there. And not going to use that. Just make certain the fill is, say, black. And you can say, go over there and quickly create a spiral. And you can press press return on there. Or should say double click on that. Doesn't do it that way. For some weird reason, the spiral tool does not work in like lots of other tools. What you need to do is simply click on the document to bring up these options, which is slightly odd and around the way of they normally work. But you can also set values here. You can change the decay, maybe go for 90 and create a different spiral. So there's a variety of different spirals. You might find that easier to use than obviously creating it in Photoshop. Now, what you can also do, simply select and go to Photoshop and then paste. So just standard control C and control V, etc., to paste it. And you've got path comes up along with smart object and pixels, etc. Go with the path option, click OK, and you've got now your spiral path in there. Again, you can see over here in path, you've got work path, nice spiral design there. And again, you can go over here with text and hover over there and simply add your text at any point. Maybe go there, click there and just create. And again, you can edit the text, modify in numerous different ways. Maybe go for Times Roman, change the color and all those sort of things. Change the size. However, what you can also do is you can do something you can't do in Photoshop at all. Well, not particularly easily anyway. If you've got Illustrator, go to Illustrator here. And I'm going to use this one. So I've got this path. I can set the stroke. So set the stroke, maybe go to 100. So you've got a fairly large stroke there. And you've got, well, what you can see is you've got a bit more to work with now. And I can expand that, but also I can got this option, which is a width profile. So I can click there and just make a nice spiral design like that. A much nicer spiral looking. Design. But you've got this fill that's basically, to get that, you need object and expand appearance. So expand appearance. So now with this design, Control C again, or edit and copy, always a key thing. And then go over to, and again, edit and paste. And paste it in. This time, path, just as reasonable. But shape layer, all those sort of things you can do as well. Now you've got your design here. What you can do, just go over here to your horizontal type tool. And again, you can hover over there if you want to. You can 
make it around the edge if you want to do that. However, what you can also do is hover inside and you can see what happens. You get a different cursor appearing and you can, you can see what happens. You end up inside. Now you might want to make that text a bit smaller and again hover inside and you can see then, oh that's a bit too small, but maybe go for 14. See that design and you can then control V, control C, etc. and fill your type like that. And you've got some interesting type like that. And of course, what you can also do with something you can't particularly do, you can apply effects. So you've got this design, you can always go for, let's just do undo that. So you've got this line here, you've got effects, you've got here distort, you've got zigzag. So you can create interesting different zigzag designs like that, and then maybe use that as the path in Photoshop. That's another option as well to create slightly more interesting and unusual spiral designs. But that's a run through of some ways of creating spiral designs. If you've got astute graphics plugins, even more features you can use, that's for Illustrator. And I am certain there's also other ways of doing this in Photoshop as well. Hope you found this of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. A like or dislike, always appreciated either way. Thank you much.